Welcome to season six of Having a Western Super, the homegrown challenge, and you find us in Sky Bet League One. After last season's heroics and getting promoted from Sky Bet League Two, evidently you're going to League One. Who would have knew what this football pyramid was like? You join me just after the summer transfer window has closed. We've been busy. We've signed some more players. 16. 16 new players. Again. All free transfers. Well, mostly free transfers. Some loans. Five or six loans. Five or six free transfers. And a little bit of money spent on future talent let me show you what i mean transfers out and we made 3.5 million selling mostly to southampton and everton both championship sides as well yeah yates is here for one season went to southampton for 1.1 million luke portelli went to southampton as well for 700 thousand and then manny norcat went to everton for lead just over 700 thousand other bainbridge went for just over half a million and Jack Lewis went for 425k. Combined total about 3.5 million. Decent money for players that. For those sort of players, three of them didn't want to sign new contracts. One of them just kept kicking off a fuss that he wasn't playing enough. So it was just easier to get out the door. Players we have signed. We spent £725,000 for a League 2 defender from Exeter, Simon Lee. He's right. At the time when I signed him, we were very short of defense, central defenders. So I went for Young with great potential, and he has got great potential. Basically, he's strong, got a bit of pace about him. He's six foot, left footed centre back, would do well. Then we gave Everton 90k for a striker, George Morgan. Decent striker, hasn't scored yet, has played three times, hasn't scored for us yet, but physically he's fine. He's got to work on his technicals and got to work on his mentals but he's 21 years old with a potential league one standard we could probably get that a bit higher and then we bought a left back from everton for 55k they're all for the future and none of them are ready yet we're building a squad that's gonna be ready for the league one and championship next three seasons Harry palmer was next one in 52k from everton again certain midfielder 20 determination what i've seen i'm like yes great unfortunately can't pass nine nine for passing Yet to play a game, but he's only 20 years old. Good potential. Iowa, Michael Devitt, a goalkeeper, because we only had one. We still got Ted Kurd, but I needed a backup goalkeeper, and you do. Hopefully, Ted Kurd doesn't get injured, otherwise, we could be screwed. And then the three transfers were Sam Raksaki, central midfielder, not a bad player. Oliver Casey, an experienced centre back, he'll do well. Aaron Maguire, Another backup goalkeeper, free transfer. Benjamin Arthur, a defender. He'd be about 22 years old. An old player came back to join us on loan again. Hayden Oldenshaw on loan from Birmingham again. Defender. Decent potential. League one player, potentially a championship player. Could be a Premier League player. He's here for another loan spell. Tom Davison on loan from Blackburn, a striker. To go up top with Sunot Bell. He looks really good. 19 years old. Potentially could be a Premier League standard. Jace Fitzgerald. A centre midfielder. Looks okay. Has scored twice already in five games. Overall, 21 years old. Good potential ability again. Sam Cosgrave from Southampton on loan for the season as well. Decent passing. Team works good. Work rate's good. Got a good engine in him as well. Stamina of 16. 18 years old. Potential of another Premier League standard. Dennis MacArthur, a left winger. We need a new left winger. He looks unbelievable. He's here on loan again from Everton. We've got a lot of signings from Everton. It's a bit weird. They signed a couple of our players and we loan a couple of theirs. A couple of their youth team in. But these are literally youth team players and uh, we're giving them game time. We're going to hopefully make that connection and in a couple of years' time, you might be able to sneak them in and buy them cheaper than what they are now. That's Dennis MacArthur. And finally, Elliot Stapley, a right back from Everton. Decent, decent right back. Good standard. He's, he's a decent uh, League One player as well. Potential to be a Premier League standard. Could be higher than that. And where you're all from, boys, you're from Everton, but Western Major. That's what we've brought in. Plus one more. Mark Haynes, 93,000 from Stockport. Essential midfielder. I think this kid could go far. He just came out from a massive injury, so hopefully he will get some more game time. He's only had two appearances from the bench at the moment. 
well we're hoping we're hoping he's got a good value range of 650k we can get that from at some point even higher as well be fantastic schedule wise we've done all right so far we've been doing all right first game of the season we beat wigan 4-2 unfortunately we lost in the Carabao cup first round 2-1 to swindon i would like to get a bit further in the competition but it is what it is we then beat salford 2-0 late orient 3-1 we drew two all with Preston. We then beat Lincoln 2 0. And in the EFL Trophy 7 section, we just beat Watford 4 2. The competition wise, we are currently sitting second in the league. Undefeated, behind Blackburn by two points. We do have a game in hand, but we're doing well. We are doing really well. Season preview, they have us down at 16th. Hey, 16th not bad. It's above relegation which is fantastic but at current form a second i'll be happy if we get mid table honestly and if we go any further than that it's fantastic we're just gonna need a bigger budget so tactics wise if i pick the best 11 this is what it comes up with using the same tactic we have done for the last couple of years it's worked well the players get used to it you have ted curden guard you've got stapley anderson eldershaw and richards at the back simon lee goes in as the defensive midfielder but i see him more as a central midfielder uh, set the back so sam cosgrave and Dennis mcarthur henton hurd on the right hand side with sunot bell and tom davidson up front sunot bell nearly valued at six million he's had a great season so far seven goals in seven games he's, what a sign he has been he is our main sign we can keep him this season keep him in the next season as well depending on what happens obviously in the league he is going to be here for now but i think like, oh, you've got to hope he's going to be here for five years He's got to be our main talisman. man. He's got to be our top goal scorer. He's got 43 goals in 73 appearances so far. Hopefully, he can get a lot more this season. That is your pretty much pre-season rundown. What's happened? Where we are? Let's simulate season six and see what we can do in League One with Western Superman. We started September off with a 2-0 win against Sheffield Wednesday. Joffre Dufus in the 16th minute getting a score and underway and made it 2-0 in the 83rd minute. We then faced MK Dons beating them 2-0. Tom Davidson from the penalty spot in the 26th minute and then Sunup Bell in the 78th minute wrapped up all three points for Western. And we are sitting top of the league, undefeated, but we've only played nine games so far. We beat West Ham under 21s in the EFL Trophy 3 1, and then we beat Watford 2 0 at home. Goals from Tom Davidson in the 11th minute and Fenton Hurd in the 20th minute gave us all three points against the former Championship side. We suffered our first defeat of the season, losing 3 1 to Barnsley. Local rivals Forest Green beat us 5 3 after we were 2 0 up at half time with goals from Tom Davidson and Jason Fitzgerald in the 4th and 20th minute. Miles got us a third goal in the 47th minute, but then the Forest Green comeback. Malcolm in the 70th minute, two Charlie McCann penalties in the 83rd and 86th minute made it 3 all. Before Tony Oakley in the 89th minute made it 4 3 Forest Green, and our own goal from Mark Hayes wrapped the scoring up. But then we beat Stevenage 3 0 in the FA Cup first round. And in the league, we're sitting second, a point behind Millwall, but have played a game extra. We beat third place Blackburn 4-2 at home. George Morgan in the second minute getting the scoring underway. For Marcus Tavernier in the 40th minute. And Palestri in the 43rd minute gave Blackburn a 2-1 lead at halftime. Just after the hour mark, Hayden Eldershaw in the 62nd minute got an equaliser. Three minutes later, Fitzgerald got on the score sheet to make it 3-2. And in the fifth minute of injury time, Brandon Brian Warren got our fourth goal and all three points came to us. In the EFL Trophy we beat Colchester on penalties, lost to Burton 2-1 in the league, we then drew 1-0 with Warsaw in the FA Cup second round, before beating Forest Green 3-0 in the EFL Trophy second round southern section, that's a mouthful. Fitzgerald in the 18th minute getting the score underway, then two goals from Simon Lee, one in the 40th minute and a second in the 48th minute 
means we progress to the next round of the, of the competition. But in the league we are 3 points clear of Millwall, but we have played a game extra. In the FA Cup replay we smashed Warsaw 5-1 with Sunup Bell getting himself a hat-trick. He got his first goal in the 10th minute before Fitzgerald made it 2 in the 13th minute and that's how it stayed until half time. Second half and Sunup Bell got his second in the 62nd minute and his third 4 minutes later in the 66th. Paul Guthrie own goal in the 90th minute made it 5 and Jamel Lascelles in the 90 plus 5th minute got Warsaw's consolation. In the top of the table clash we beat Millwall 2-0 but then earned a deserved point against Stoke. Fenton would have gone in the 18th minute before two late goals from Stoke, one from Stephen Jones in the 85th minute, and then Nathan Lowe in the 86th minute thought they gave Stoke all three points, but two minutes later, Dennis MacArthur stepped up to make it 2-2 and all the points were shared. We then lost 2-1 to Mill in the league, drew 1-0 with MK Dons, drew 1-0 with Barnsley, and got smashed 3-0 by Watford. But in the league, we're second after not a bad month in all fairness. We beat Swindon 6-0 in the EFL third round, before drawing 3-0 with Premier League Burnley in the third round of the FA Cup. But in the replay, we beat them 3-2. Lyle Foster getting the score underway for Burnley in the 16th minute. We got an equaliser in the 21st with Sam Cosgrave. Wilson Overbert in the 28th minute gave Burnley a 2-1 lead at half time but on the hour Fenton Hurd got us an equaliser and then in the 79th minute Joshua Dufus got us the winner to put us into the 4th round of the FA Cup. Where we faced Liverpool yet again losing 3-1 at Anfield. Kobe Gatbo in the 23rd minute getting the score underway. Another penalty from Mansfield in the 45th minute. Momo got Liverpool's third in the 75th and we got a consolation goal from Dennis Arthur in the 82nd. We then beat Preston 3-1 in the EFL quarterfinals. And in the league, we are sitting second, eight points behind Stoke, but we do have two games in hand. We got a point at home against Notts County, one all. We then drew one all with Oxford. Tough times at the moment. Ruben Lee getting the goal in the 32nd minute for Oxford, giving them a 1-0 lead at halftime before Tom Davidson in the 72nd minute got us an equaliser. Points were shared. We beat Charlton 2-0 at the Valley. Goals from Des MacArthur in the 44th minute and then Terence Miles in the 88th minute made sure we took all three points. And we have closed the gap to Stoke at the top of the league. We're now two points behind with eight games remaining. Blackburn knocked us out of the EFL Trophy in the semi-final, losing 4-3. Goals from Joe Rankin Costello in the 8th minute for Blackburn before Tune Up Bell got equalised in the 12th minute. They took the lead in the 17th minute from George Morgan before Blackburn equalised in the 33rd with Charlie Hughes. Joe Millington in the 35th minute got Blackburn 3 2 up, but Simon Lee got an equaliser on the stroke of half time. Late into the game, Harry Leonard in the 82nd minute got Blackburn's winner. He then beat Wigan 4 1 before losing the Preston 1 0. But then smashing late to Noyant 2 0. Goals from Jude Sunup Bell in the 30th minute. And then five minutes later, Dennis MacArthur making sure all three points came away of us. And in the league, we are three points clear with four games to go. And a big P next to our name. We've been promoted. A 3 0 win against Notts County. And a 3-0 win against Stockport meant only one thing. A good result against Carlisle and we are champions. Tom Davidson's done what he's done all season. Got the score underway in the 32nd minute. Before an own goal from Osman KK made it 2-0 with 9 minutes remaining. Zane Scrubber got one back for Carlisle in the 84th minute. But it wasn't enough. And we have somehow managed to win the Sky Bet League One title and we've got another promotion in the bag. There is nothing this team cannot do. Winners of the Sky Bet League One. Honestly, I didn't think we'd be up here. I would have thought playoffs are a push. 
But to win the league and 102 points, five points in the end clear off Stoke. Mir will also get promoted through the playoffs. Is an unbelievable achievement. We have two players in the top goal scorers. Davidson on 22, Dufus on 16. Average ratings, we have three of the best players. Player of matches, we have two in there. Clean sheets, Ted Kurd got 17 in the end. Assist, Elliot Stapley, 14. Yellow cards, we have, two, we have three players in the yellow cards. I'm not surprised, we usually get players in the yellow cards. Okay, Carabao Cup, we're knocked out in the first round of Swindon. It's one of those things, it's a cup that we're not going to win. FA Cup, we get to the fourth round, losing to Liverpool 3-1. They could be our new rivals, Liverpool. Probably not. A couple of years away from that yet. But in the Bristol Street Trophy, we got to the semi-finals, losing to Blackburn 4-3. And they lose to Wrexham. And Wrexham win it over, over 1-0. But that was a, a good little cup run. They're getting to the semi-final. It'll be nice to win it since that going up and we can't win it next season. But next season, we are going to be in the Championship. And we're facing teams like Middlesbrough, Peterborough, Sheffield United, Cardiff, Southampton, West Brom, Luton, QPR, Coventry, Bolton, Plymouth, Huddersfield, Reading, Birmingham, Rotherham, Hull, Swansea, Derby. We're not facing Bristol City. They got relegated. And who's come down from the Premier League? Ipswich, Crystal Palace and Burnley, who we beat earlier on in the season in the FA Cup third round. Squad-wise, who got all the goals? Tom Davidson got himself 26 goals. Shudok Bell got 22. He's unhappy, he wants a new deal. Well, wages will be going up because we've been promotion, so a bit more money, hopefully. Uh, Joshua, Joshua Dufus got 18 goals. George Morgan got 17 in 19 starts, 18 from the bench. Darius MacArthur got 10. Uh, Jace Fitzgerald got uh, nine. Simon Lee, defender slash defensive midfielder, got eight. Brendan Hurd got eight. Assist wise, we've got the most Elliot Stapley. 17. He's now valued at 40 million. I don't think Everton are going to let me have him. He's massively improved as well. Brendan Hurd got himself 15 assists. How is he? Is he improving? Not really, but he's still a decent player. 400,000 value that. Sam Cosgrave got himself 11. He's not really improved either. Might be able to get him on the cheap. He's still valued at 30k to 5 mil. So if we can get him on the cheap, you never know. Shudok Bell got 11. Simon Lee got 10. Terence Miles got himself 10. We've got a lot of three stars. I'm against championship team. We're against basically Premier League players next season going up. This team will be have will have to uh, be rebuilt again. Two players are asking to leave, but the contracts are expiring. So, apart from the loans, only three players, are, four players are expiring. Heard? I think we keep Heard. I think we give Heard a new contract. He's done well since he's had a great season. Average rating just under seven. I think we give Heard another contract. I think he's earned it. Definitely earned it. So next season we are in the championship. It's going to be a lot harder. I don't expect us to go up again. But I didn't expect us to go up this season. So you never know if we have a decent summer transfer window. You never know. Transfer budget. We just got over half a million with a 25k wage budget. We probably could move this around. Yeah. 1.5 million. It's not a lot. The, the board haven't got a lot of money. They really haven't. It's not a club that has got buckets and buckets of money. We need to be clever. It's like our stadium is still the original stadium, which holds just over five and a half thousand. But at some stage, we're going to have to look into it and go, look, we need to spend some money. We need to get some money. We take a loan, we take a loan, but we need to rebuild this stadium, make it bigger. There's nothing saying that we're going to buy a new stadium. You know, we're going to build a new stadium. We're going to expand what we got. I try to get new training facilities out of them, and it's it's a tough ask, let's just say that. The reason why I'm asking for new training facilities is because we have got one of the best set of coaching staff in the back room there is. You know, 
apart from our recruitment team, but needs our work and the medical, the actual coaching staff, we're there. We are, we're leading it in our league. Championship season next year, it's going to be difficult. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here and want to see more of my FM24 content or any of my content at all, really. we got a lot coming up. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a roller coaster of a season, but yet again, we have been promoted and we were playing in the Skybet Championship next season. we got to be fighting relegation. There's no way this team is good enough to be fighting for another promotion to the Premier League. Until next time, guys, take a stay, look after yourself, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Doodles!